Okay, and welcome back. Unexpected video today, and unexpected surprise to me, as a matter of fact. Uh, how do I explain this? A while ago, I bought this. This is the USB 3 to lightning adapter. It has a separate power. When I first got the this adapter with the iPad Pro, this is the Gen 2 2017. It, something weird, it actually prompted me for a firmware update. And that's when I realized there was a level of intelligence in here. Depending on what, what I plugged into it, it, it actually determined whether it, it put out an amp of power or, or if it just put out hardly any power. Um, I found that interesting and, and I was able to confirm that using one of the YZX power monitors. So one of the messages I, I'm used to seeing it is without power a USB 3 key. Here's a, here, here's a, um, a Patriot a uh, supersonic magnum 128 gig USB 3 key. It's a very fast USB 3 key, but because of that, it drains a lot of power. So, this is, so when you try to import pictures from something like this, you get this message. It basically says, cannot use device, Patriot memory. The, the, the connected device requires too much power. Okay. Okay. Fine. All right. So the, the, then, then I realized, well, with this new one having a, a power adapter to it, sh shouldn't take that much. We'll, we'll just use the 12 watt adapter. To get it to import stuff on a USB key, you need it, the files to be in a DCIM folder, and the files need to be named exactly eight characters. Eight characters dot extension. Eight characters so the dot mp4 a characters dot mov but can't be more than eight characters it needs to be eight characters uh, for, for for some reason that's what it expects and on most cameras most cameras write out to the sd card or in in, in that format of, of of eight characters so if you're using something like the lightning the sd a characters is fine. It will import the uh, the photos without an issue. But if you want to take files from somewhere else and import it onto to your iPad or your iPad Pro, you need to name it in the naming convention that it expects as if it was coming from a camera. My curiosity peaked a while back. And I was hoping that Apple would change things with iOS 11. In the beta, they didn't. But somewhere along the lines, even in the first release of the official iOS Goldmaster, they didn't either. Somewhere along the lines, something did change, though. Because here, I have an external hard drive. This is a uh, USB 3 super speed. Set of the USB enclosure, just your basic external enclosure, nothing special. And this is your crucial solid state drive. And this particular crucial is a one terabyte, it's a six gig SATA. And then you have to take in consideration powering the actual. Uh, chip in this for the, the, the USB 3 conversion. So, let's go ahead and plug this back in. And when I plugged it in, this little USB 3 adapter here, the, 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 this guy specifically told me it does not support SATA to, 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 to USB or USB to SATA. It knew exactly what I plugged in. It just said, no, we don't support that. I said, interesting. Okay. But today, for, 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 for some reason, I decided, you know what? Let's try it again. Well, why not? So here, here's that same... I have the identical files in the DCIM folder, as a matter of fact. 
So this is our name, same naming convention, everything, because I copied it from here to here. We'll put this over to the iPhone. This is the iPhone 8 Plus. It doesn't have power right now. Gave me that Patriot memory. Too much power error. Let's plug it. Now the phone's charging. Came up with the import. We'll select it. We'll import. And we'll import select it. And we'll start our clock. Now I made the assumption that the iPhone 8 being able to do a fast charge with USB-C would also mean that it's running USB 3 lightning speeds as well. In other words, lightning 3.1. That may have been the wrong assumption to make. Just because they gave it the fast charging ability with USB-C to Lightning 3.1 does not necessarily mean it is running USB-C speeds for transferring. Uh, I'm at 47 seconds already, and we're gonna call, call that one a failed. But in the meantime, Let's bring up the the, the uh, timer on this side. There we go. We'll, we'll bring up the stopwatch on this side. We'll go over to photos here. Now, it's 29 watt USB-C to Lightning 3.1. Gave me an error message. Cannot use device. Oh, nope. See, that's what it does. The firmware, when it did the firmware update, it tries to detect what's plugged in and does this reboot thing. So it actually did do a reboot there. And let's go ahead and import select it, start. You'll know when we're done here when we get that little keep or delete message. Whoops, I hit lap instead. I lapped it at 10.6 seconds. That it, it, the, the, okay, so the iPhone 8 Plus is not importing at USB 3 speeds or, or Lightning 3.1 speeds, but it does allow the, the, the fast charging. Interesting. So, so, so they only implemented half of it, or, or they're restricting part of it via software for some reason. That I didn't expect. I, I assumed if it was doing fast charging, with the uh, Lightning 3.1, that it would also be doing this, that that speed for transferring files as well. Let's go ahead and and, and see what the transfer speed is on, on that same file here. Solid light. Same file. Import. Select it. Start. About the same. Uh, okay, so 10 seconds. But I'm not getting that error message that, 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 that was telling me so consistently before it does not support SATA to USB devices. So that, 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 that's amazing to see and a great advancement. And, and, and now, if I could only connect it and write stuff from the iPad to the here or, or write it from the iPad to here, even if it's just the Files app, you know this app here that 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 shows you different things. Even if it's just this, I would be happy. Let's plug it in. I think what it's going to do is it is going to see a DCIM folder and it's going to go to import on my cameras. Exactly what it did, which I expected. And when it didn't have a DCIM folder in there, it came up with import, but import was blank. It did absolutely nothing. So it was just completely blank. So the, the, that's when I decided to take that same DCIM folder off of this and put it to here. Because I was surprised import even came up. I was shocked that it didn't even give me an error message. And that it actually started to, or, or at least attempted to, to, to allow me to import something. That, that, that was amazing to me. Um, 
Now, do we need lightning? Do we need the 29 watt USB-C lightning? Well, let's find out. Let's try it with the 12 watt. Here's our 12 watt of power adapter lightning. And I have a solid blue light. That's a good start. Again, take that same file, import, select it, start. Nope. It seems we do not need to have the, the, the USB-C lightning. Yeah, of course, if you want to charge your iPad faster, your iPad Pro faster, while you're importing uh, video files from, from, from like an SSD uh, external hard drive or, or fast USB, USB 3 memory key, then it would be suggested to, 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 to do that. What I really have curious though is, will the hard drive work on the iPhone 8 Plus? And the answer is no. Uh, no error message, and just sits there and blinks. Now on a normal iPhone, you, you always get that error message, but on the iPhone Pluses, you were able to import stuff using these adapters. So the, the, at least we answered that question. The last curious question is, well, why is it fast charging, but copying files slower? We have that same file, and let's go ahead and select, uh, import select it, jump over and hit start. Done. Uh, almost a full minute and a half. Wow. I do know without power in this adapter, it will complain that it has does not have enough power. Don't expect this to, 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 to work with an old laptop spinny hard drive. Even some of my older SSD drives may actually draw too much power. But it's really nice to see the, 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 that I was able to use my hard drive. I did want to share this with you because this was never, to my knowledge, possible in the past. I, I've even tried it with the same exact iPad. I tried it with that same exact adapter, and I tried it with the final version of iOS 11. It did not work. Uh, unfortunately, this is a sad discovery that, that their latest iPhone it may be using USB-C charging, but, but, but it's lacking the transfer speeds. That, 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 that's sad. I, they, they used to keep things across the board. They used to keep it the same across the board. I, I don't know what happened here. But you figured if this had fast charging, that this would have fast charging too. It's probably running the same chip. If I check the iFixit teardown, I believe it is the same chip. That the, the, the USB-C chip that it's using for fast charging in here. So, this is, so that enables the same fast charging here on the iPad Pro and does enable the, 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 the same fast uh, speed of, of copying files. So why doesn't my iPhone 8 Plus copy files in that fast too? Why does it take a minute and a half instead of 10 seconds? Yeah, that makes you wonder. There's a software limitation because the Apple wants you to go out and buy the iPad Pro. Thanks for watching, and as always, be safe and keep on tinkering.